Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. This is the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can find our coverage on your smart TV with our Roku and Apple TV apps. We'll begin our broadcast in just a few moments. Please stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. The game you're tuning in for isn't quite ready yet. Remember, you can follow other games with the My Town TV smartphone app. Download it today. Our broadcast will begin shortly. Thank you for tuning in to the My Town Sports Network. Our game hasn't started yet. Remember, you can follow us on Instagram for our complete broadcast schedule and more. This broadcast will begin in just a few minutes. Good late evening, maybe good night here from Boyd County High School for our final game uh, of the evening between Portsmouth Notre Dame and the Boyd County Lady Lions last game here that we're going to be broadcasting from the Tri-State Showcase. We're going to try to get you out of here tonight before Sunday morning comes around. We're running a little late. This was scheduled to start a little, well, originally at 8, then it was pushed, thought, maybe about 8.15, 8.30, so we're hoping to get started here within about the next 15 minutes between uh, Portsmouth, Notre Dame, and Boyd County. Boyd County uh, dropped a game earlier uh, this morning here in the showcase and then lost a tough one to Frederick Douglass, 15-12, to 12, a game we had here on the My Town TV Sports Network, and then uh, had a very exciting game between Cabell Midland and Frederick Douglass, and Frederick Douglass wound up scoring six runs in the bottom of the seventh to win that one 10-9 to nine in a very exciting game, very controversial game. was uh, pretty interesting to watch uh, throughout. A lot of th exciting things happened, but uh, these two teams are meeting tonight, Portsmouth, Notre Dame, and Boyd County for the third time this year. They played a doubleheader back on March the 23rd, and Notre Dame won both of those games. One was a one-run extra inning affair, and then they won the other one, I believe it was 10-5. to five. So uh, Boyd County looking for a little bit of uh, revenge here to try to get one win of the three games that they've scheduled to play so far this year. We're going to take a break, and we're going to come back and talk about this one right after the break. You're watching the Tri-State Showcase here from Boyd County High School between Portsmouth Notre Dame and the Boyd County Lady Lions. We will be right back. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Free bread. Refuel. Yeah, yeah. Buckle up, 
Be safe, Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free bonus Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. All right, folks, we are back here, Boyd County High School. We're probably about 10 minutes or so away, maybe quicker because uh, we've already got the umpires on the field. The Titans, of course, with Notre Dame, their starting lineups tonight. Macy Ford will lead off and be in center field. Gwen Sparks will be in left field. Uh, Maddie Entler in right field. Uh, Lindsey Schaefer will be the cleanup hitter and play third base. Kendall Ford will be at first base. Uh, a late... Alon, Alayla, excuse me, uh, Sword will be the shortstop. Kate Entler will be the catcher. Uh, Ava Rush will be the pitcher. And Bella Rush will be at second base. That's your uh, nine uh, that we will have that will come to the plate. And then uh, the Notre Dame uh, Titans, they are eight and one uh, at least through nine games uh, here coming in to this, as I mentioned uh, had a doubleheader against Boyd County back on March the 23rd and swept that doubleheader against these Lady Lions, two very competitive uh, softball games and uh, should be an exciting game tonight. Haven't had a chance to see Portsmouth Notre Dame play yet this year. Looking forward to that. A very sound uh, softball team and uh, should be in for a great game. We're going to take our second break. When we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about the Boyd County Lady Lions here on My Town TV. You're watching the Tri-State Showcase here from Boyd County High School. We'll be right back. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Whether it happens without warning or you're able to plan ahead, when it comes to your heart, you want the very best care. Advice you can trust. Advanced technology. To understand, to be heard, to have a say. Professionals who have the knowledge and experience to get it right. Excellent care that's nationally recognized. You want the heart experts at King's Daughters. Because when it comes to your heart, we have exactly what it wants. Struggling with addiction or know someone who is? MyTown TV is here to help. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to MyTownTVCares.com for links and contact information for local resources dedicated to addiction recovery. You're not alone. Reach out today. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux. Pollux has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollux from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashton, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years.
All right, folks, we're back here at Boyd County High School, the final game here from Boyd County in the Tri-State Showcase. And we're getting closer and closer to the first pitch here between the Titans of Portsmouth Notre Dame and the Boyd County Lady Lions. And uh, the Boyd County Lady Lions, as I mentioned, have dropped two here today, one earlier this morning and one at the 4 o'clock game they dropped a 15-12 decision to Frederick Douglass. Your lineup for the Lady Lions of Boyd County. Elon Simpkins will lead off and play right field. Uh, J.C. Goad will be the shortstop, bat second. Savannah Henderson at third base will bat third. Mila Hamilton will be at first base and will be the cleanup hitter. Kylie Coons in the number five spot. She'll be behind the plate tonight. Brooke Jacobs will take the circle tonight in the nightcap here for Boyd County, Grace Stevens, the second baseman, Gracie Gilbert in left field, and Jaden Goad will be in center field. And Brooke Jacobs on the year. This will be her eighth appearance on the season uh, as a pitcher. And she is, uh, this will be her fourth start. She has 21 and two thirds innings on the season with an ERA of 2.26. She's only given up 13 hits in those 21 innings, has 18 strikeouts in 21 and two-thirds innings, and has a record of 3-0. and oh. The Boyd County Lady Lions earlier in tonight, a game you saw here on My Town TV, the 4 o'clock match between uh, Boyd County and Frederick Douglass, got a lot of production from the top of their order, the 1 and 2 hitters and the 7, 8, and 9 hitters. Did an outstanding job. J.C. Goad with a huge game with two home runs, five RBIs, and she scored three runs in that game. Had a two-run shot in the first inning and later in the game went deep over the left center field wall off of the scoreboard uh, with a three-run homer to give her three on the season total. Should be an exciting matchup here between these two. I would give you... Uh, all the other games we're showing today, but since we're the last one of the bunch and waiting around here, there's not any other action at any other the Tri-State Showcase, at least that ones that we are broadcasting here. We appreciate you joining in for this one. It'll be a late night, but I expect a very good uh, ball game here tonight between these two teams, Boyd County and Portsmouth Notre Dame. We're going to take our final break, and when we come back, we'll hope we'll be closer to first pitch and have action here from the final game of the Tri-State Showcase here at Boyd County High School. You're watching My Town TV. We'll be right back. Trust is something earned, not given. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. From hand-cut steaks to fall off the bone ribs, Texas Roadhouse has something for everyone. Visit TexasRoadhouse.com or download the Texas Roadhouse mobile app to get on the wait list or place a to-go order online. Fresh baked bread and honey cinnamon butter await at Texas Roadhouse. Order their legendary catering for your next event. Located at 501 Winchester Avenue across from Ashland Town Center Mall, Texas Roadhouse will help you support your local school. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208.
right, folks, we're back. We're getting ready for the first pitch here between Portsmouth Notre Dame and Boyd County. And just the defensive lineup for the Lady Lions. Jacobs will be the pitcher tonight. Coons behind the plate from third around to first. It'll be Henderson, J.C. Goad, Stevens, and Hamilton from left to right. It'll be Gilbert, Jaden Goad, and Elon Simpkins. And for the Titans to lead off will be Macy Ford, followed by Gwen Sparks, and then Maddie Entler will be your top three for the Titans of Portsmouth Notre Dame. And that is actually also your outfielders for them. It'll be Ford in center field, Sparks in left field, and Entler in right field. And then Lindsey Schaefer will be the cleanup hitter from third base. Your first baseman, Kendall Ford. Uh, your number six hitter will be Alayla Sword. She'll play shortstop. Entler, Kate Entler will be... The catcher will bat seventh. Ava Rush will be in the circle for the Titans, and Bella Rush will be the second baseman, and she will bat ninth. So it looks like we're getting ready and getting set. The umpire is thankfully brushing off the home plate. With That has not been uh, happening consistently throughout the day, but we appreciate the umpire doing that, and now Ford will step in. And Brooke Jacobs comes with the first pitch. And we are it stays high, and we are underway. 1-0 and o on Ford. <laughs> Went to about 1, just after 1 o'clock here last night. Hopefully we won't be going that late on this one. And there's the 1 0 pitch is over for a strike. One ball and one strike. We are in the top of the first here. And that one's hit high, and that's going to be out of play. And so it'll be one ball and two strikes. So Jacobs ahead early here on Ford. The sun went down and it's turned just a little bit cooler, but it looks like the wind has laid down. The flag out in left center is not showing any at all, and that is a base hit between short and third, and it gets in between. Jaden Goad picks it up and trying for second is Ford and gets her out, didn't slide. And so we've got a single and then – Goad to Stevens, gets the put out, trying to make it into second. So one out now, Gwen Sparks, the left fielder, will step in. And Jacobs wanting a new ball, and she gets it. And we'll get ready for hitter number two is Gwen Sparks, number 27 for Portsmouth Notre Dame. And stays high, ball one. And it's fouled back, one ball, one strike. And that one stays high, ball two. <laughs> and that's hit into right field. Simpkins going back, tracking it, gets over her head. It's at the base of the... Fence, she gets it in to Stevens, and Sparks will get a double. And it was, uh, if 
Macy Ford would have not tried to stretch that one into double and got thrown out, then you've got the Titans up one to nothing already. But now you have Sparks at second, and Maddie Entler will step in. She is the right fielder tonight with a runner on second in scoring position, only one down here in the top of the first. Jacobs comes plateward and it's ball one. Two and oh now on Entler, runner in scoring position, one down. Sparks is on second with a double. And it's going to be ball three, so Jacobs having a little bit of trouble finding the plate here. Would think that Entler is probably going to take this 3-0 and pitch here. And takes outside ball four. So now you got two runners on with only one out. That's going to bring up the cleanup hitter, third baseman Lindsey Schaefer. Jacobs looking into the dugout to get the sign here for the pitch. It's hit down the left field line, and it's curving foul. So a long strike here. Ball one to Schaefer. One ball, one strike. One one from Jacobs. And that is fouled off down the first baseline. One ball, two strikes. Was behind on that pitch just a touch, so. Jacobs with the count in her favor. It's ball two. Two balls, two strikes now. Two on, runners on first and second. One out here in the top of the first. And that's grounded to Henderson. She scoops it up and goes to first to get the out. The runners move up. Now batting first baseman, number 22, Kendall Ford. So Kendall Ford will now step in with two down. Runners on second and third. Two out base hit would be big here for Notre Dame. Score two. That is strike one. Jacobs puts that one right down the middle. 0-1 now. Boyd County trying to get out of an inning here that uh, Portsmouth Notre Dame's had two on after the first hitter. A double and then a walk. And then a ground out that moved the runners up to second and third. So one ball, one strike. Two outs here in the top of the first. Jacobs with the delivery. It's going to be inside. Nice job by Coons to stop that one to keep it from getting back past her. Two and one. (laughs) 
And it's fouled back. Two balls, two strikes. And a swing and a miss, and a strikeout gets the third out of the inning. So you had two hits, two runners left, no errors, and no runs at the end of a half an inning. Portsmouth, Notre Dame, zero. Boyd County coming to bat. We'll be back right after this. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. To know that we impacted them it, um, really helps, but I don't know if they really know how much they impacted us. The things these kids go through, we can't imagine. Almost every foster that we've had, we still have contact with. We choose to continue to foster with Remy Eastad because they've become family. I've never felt like they say, here you go, you're on your own. You can call them at any time. If they don't have the answer right at hand, they'll find it and get back with you. All right, folks, we're back here. Tri-State Showcase here from Boyd County High School. Final game of the night here at Boyd County between Portsmouth Notre Dame and the Boyd County Lady Lions. And for Portsmouth Notre Dame, Ava Rush will be in the circle tonight. Itler will be the catcher. And from third around to first, it's Schaefer, Sword, Bella Rush, and Ford on first base. From left to right, it's Sparks, Ford. And Entler and the Ford in center field is Macy Ford and Kendall Ford will be at first base. And for Boyd County, it'll be right fielder Elon Simpkins to lead off, followed by the shortstop J.C. Goad and then Savannah Henderson. Myla Hamilton, Kylie Coons, Brooke Jacobs, Grace Stevens, Gracie Gilbert, and Jaden Goad. And Simpkins and J.C. Goad both had big games against Frederick Douglass a little earlier this evening. Seems like a, two days ago that Boyd County and Frederick Douglass played. The sun was shining and wind was blowing, and now there's no wind. It's getting darker. It's getting cooler. And here's the first pitch in the bottom of the first to Simpkins. And takes a strike from Rush, 0 and 1. And that's high and away, ball one. So one ball, one strike on Simpkins. Again, it'll be Simpkins, J.C. Goad, and Henderson will be the three that will come to the plate to start the bottom of the first. Simpkins hits that one high in the air to center field. Macy Ford comes in, catches the short fly ball for the first out of the bottom of the first. Now it's up to J.C. Goad. the first pitch to Goad. Take that inside ball one. Way high for that one, 2-0 oh on J.C. Goad. Goat has hit the ball hard all day. As I mentioned, five RBIs and two home runs. Three runs scored in the game against Frederick Douglass. Fouls that one off. Two and one now.
That one stays high and away, three and one. With the way Goad hit in the game against Frederick Douglass, I think uh, Ava Rush needs to be a little careful here and not give her too much to hit on this 3-1 pitch. And Goad hits that one behind it just a little bit, fouls it off down outside the right field line, and it's going to be full count now. And ball four, so Goad draws a walk and she'll go to first base. And that's gonna bring up Savannah Henderson. Now the third baseman, number four, Savannah Henderson. Henderson swinging on the first pitch and fouls it back. 0 and 1. JC Goad over on first base does have three stolen bases on the year. That one's way high. Looked like that one kind of got stuck in Rush's hand there for a little bit and it stayed high. And off speed there, so one ball, one strike. And a swing and a miss on the change up there. It's now one and two. Stays high, two balls, two strikes. And Henderson swings and misses and strikes out for the second out of the inning. That'll bring up cleanup hitter, first baseman, Myla Hamilton. J.C. Goad still on first base, two outs. Hamilton hits base hit in between short and third, and it's scooped up out there by Sparks, gets it back into Sword, and Hamilton with a base hit. And that's going to put runners on first and second for your number five hitter. Coons will step in now. J.C. Goad at second, Mila Hamilton at first. Bottom of the second, two outs. Or bottom of the first, excuse me, two outs. Coons squares to bunt, bunts at foul. 0-1. Oh Here's the 0-1 to Coons. She takes strike two.
Here's the 0-2 to Coons. And she hits that one. It's going to get in the hole. J.C. Goad's going to come around third. Throw is in, and Goad's going to beat it standing up. Coons is going to go to second and gets back in time. Thought Hamilton was going to third, but Coons gets an RBI single. So J.C. Goad will score, and Boyd County takes an early 1-0 lead, and Brooke Jacobs will come in to bat here, the number six hitter, also the pitcher tonight. She has runners on first and second, Hamilton on second, Coons on first. Swing and a miss by Jacobs. 0 and 1. <coughs> and Jacobs fouls that one off. It's going to go to 0 and 2 on Jacobs. Now with two outs on the crack of the bat, the runners will be going. Two strikes and two outs. No balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch from Rush to Jacobs. It's going to stay outside and gets away, and Hamilton is going to try to go to third, and she's going to get put out there. And that will... We've got, that'll end the half inning, and it is uh, one run on one hit, one runner left, and at the end of one complete, it's one to nothing, Boyd County, and we'll be right back right after this. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Folks, we are back after that half inning. Uh, Boyd County with a one to nothing lead here on Portsmouth Notre Dame. And for Notre Dame, it looks like it's going to be Sword, Entler, and Ava Rush, your six, seven, and eight hitters. And uh, Coons was on base, so it's taking just a second for her to come out and get her equipment on. And Coach Caesar is going to come out and talk to. Brooke Jacobs here while we're, or I thought he was going to. He's walking past her. I think he's going to talk to Myla Hamilton to make sure she's all right. She was down after she went to third base there and uh, wasn't sure if she was injured, but she stayed down for a little bit, but seems to be okay. Come out to take uh, the field here, and I think Coach Caesar's just making sure she's all right and she's going to stay in the game. And, we're about ready to get started here in the top of the second with Boyd County leading one to nothing. <clears throat> and then, like I said, it'll be the six, seven, and eight hitters for Portsmouth Notre Dame. To start out with number 33, Alayla Sword, who is the shortstop, followed by Kate Entler, and then Ava Rush, and then Bella Rush, which will be your six, seven, eight and nine hitters. That one stays way high, ball one. The 
Even further outside on that one, ball two. And that's strike one, two and one. <coughs> and that's fouled away, ball, or strike two, excuse me. Count is two and two on the hitter. And that is grounded in between short and third. J.C. Goad knocks it down. Didn't even think she'd get a glove on it. Was able to knock it down, but an infield hit there for a sword, and that gives Notre Dame their leadoff runner on here in the top of the second. So Kate Entler will now step in. And Entler's going to hit that one in the hole between first and second. And Simpkins bobbles it just a little bit, but uh, Sword is going to go back to second. So back-to-back -back hits here for the Titans. And Entler will be on first, and Alayla Sword is on second. And coming to bat now will be Ava Rush. And then I think we've got a courtesy runner. But I don't have a roster, and I can't see a number even if I had a roster because we have a jacket on. But we know we have a courtesy runner for Entler. And so Ava Rush, the pitcher for Notre Dame, will step into the box. First two runners on here in the bottom of the second for Notre Dame. That stays high, ball one. It's ball two. Squares the bunt, takes a strike, two and one. <clears throat> and started the swing and held up, and the count goes to three and one. Fouled away on a pitch that was inside, and it'll go full now on Ava Rush. So full count, two on, nobody out here in the top of the second. And that's fouled off down the third base side. It'll stay three and two. And that's hit out of play. And 
And that's grounded to Henderson, who scoops it up, goes to Hamilton for the out. That'll be the first out of the inning. But everyone is going to move up. It'll be sword to third, and the courtesy runner for Entler is at second. So Bella Rush, the number nine hitter, will come to the plate with an opportunity to score two runs with a base hit here. Kind of a defensive swing and just popped out of Gilbert's glove there. Got hidden by a little bit by the dugout roof by me. And Gilbert with a nice attempt there. Just couldn't make the catch, but it's a long strike. So it's one ball and one strike on Bella Rush, the number nine hitter for Portsmouth Notre Dame. Squares the bunt, puts down a great bunt. Jacobs comes off and throws into the runner. And you've got one run will score, and that'll be Sword. So now we're going to have runners on first and third. So Macy Ford will come to bat. She singled to lead off the game and then got thrown out at second base trying to stretch it into a double. And she'll take strike one. Coons throws it down to second. Goad cuts it off. Nice job there by Goad. Oh one one runners on first and third. And we are all tied up at one here in the top of the second. Squares to bunt to Jacobs, and she'll throw out at first. So Ford gets put out one to three. So Gwen Sparks will now come to bat with two down. Runners on second and third on the bunt. Rush moved up to second. So we'll give Ford a sacrifice on that one. And Sparks fouls that one off 0-1. Be an accomplishment for Boyd County to get out of this inning with just one run given up. Here's the 0-1 pitch, and Sparks hits it right back up the middle, and that's going to score two. Jaden Goad picks it up, gets it into Jacobs, and a two-RBI single for Gwen Sparks. So Maddie Entler will now step in, and she has not had an official plate appearance. She drew a base on balls in the first inning. It's the second time through the order for Jacobs. It's going to stay high, ball one. So 1-0 and zero with Sparks on second, who had the two RBI single to put Portsmouth Notre Dame into the lead here. And that one's grounded right to Henderson, who scoops it up, gets it over to Hamilton. And that will do the inning, but not before Portsmouth Notre Dame pushes across three runs. And so they've got three runs, uh, one runner left on. 
And I think one Boyd County error. And at the end of one and a half at Sports with Notre Dame 3, Boyd County 1. We'll be back right after this. Ashley Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Right now, one in four Kentucky high school seniors are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in four. It's okay to ask for help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. All right, folks, we are back at uh, top of the second. Portsmouth Notre Dame, three runs on three hits. One Boyd County air, one left on base. Portsmouth Notre Dame takes a 3-1 lead, and so coming up for Boyd County will be the six, seven, and eight hitters. Jacobs will come back in because we had the, she was at bat when Myla Hamilton was thrown out trying to get to third. So it'll be Jacobs, Stevens, and Gilbert. Will bat here for Boyd County in the bottom of the second. Then Jacobs takes ball one. And Jacobs fouls that one back. One ball and one strike. And a swing and a miss on the changeup. So Jacob steps out, one and two. She's the leadoff hitter here in the bottom of the second. And Jacobs waits on that one and, and deposits it into left field. A nice line drive hit between short and third. And so Jacobs gets a leadoff single here. And that'll bring up Grace Stevens. And we've got Elise Sparks will be coming in as a courtesy runner for Jacobs over at first base. So Boyd County with the leadoff hitter on here in the bottom of the second, trying to get back some of those runs they gave up in the top of the second. Notre Dame leads Boyd County three to one here in the bottom of the second. Swing and a miss by Stevens. Steven squared the bunt, fouls it off. Be 0 and 2 now. Sparks is 5 of 6 on the year in stolen bases. She's at first as a courtesy runner for Jacobs. And Stevens hits that one right back up the middle and it gets between short and third and Sparks will move up to second. Stevens continues her hot hitting from game, or I guess game two, the first game today that we broadcast. I was going to say game one. They did play earlier this morning. So Gracie Gilbert will now come to bat with runners on first and second. Nobody down here in the bottom of the second. Got 
Gilbert started to square, takes a ball one. That's bunted foul at the plate. One ball, one strike. Gilbert trying to force the runners over on a sacrifice if she's trying to bunt here. Infield really pulled in, though, for Notre Dame. And Gilbert takes another ball, two and one now. So the third baseman is halfway up the line, halfway between third and home, and the second baseman is all the way between first and home, expecting a bunt for Gilbert, and she swings and misses. It's going to be two balls and two strikes. And now Portsmouth Notre Dame is going to back up to a regular infield depth. Gilbert fouls that one off to stay alive at two balls and two strikes. That's going to stay outside, so Gilbert works the count full now. 3-2, nobody out, runners on first and second. Rush has got to come with a strike here. And Gilbert swings and misses and strikes out for the first out at the bottom of the second. And that's going to bring up the number nine hitter, Jaden Goad. Now adding the center fielder, double zero, Jaden Goad. So one out, two on. Sparks on second. Stevens on first. One out here to the number nine hitter, Jaden Goad. She takes that one high, ball one. <clears throat> Here's the 1 0. And takes strike one, one ball and one strike on Jaden Goad. Go tries to bunt and catching third baseman trying to get it into foul territory, just aren't able to. It's one ball and two strikes now. Two pitch and Goad reaches out and slaps that one straight back foul. So we'll stay at one and two. And the one two pitch again and Took something big off of that one. Nice pitch by Rush and gets the strikeout. So that's two outs now, and that'll bring up Elon Simpkins, who flew out to center field to open the bottom of the first. 0 for 1 on the night. Simpkins hits that one back up the middle, and Sparks is going to round third, and she's going to come home, and Stevens will pull up at second, so Elise Sparks comes around to score. Now, Maddie, four stop, number 11, J.C. 
Go. So now you've got Grace Stevens at second. Simpkins at first with the RBI single. And now J.C. Godel come to the plate with two outs. Two on here, bottom of the second. J.C. Go drew a base on balls to in her first at bat in the bottom of the first. And big swing and a miss there for Goad, 0-1. And Rush took something off of that one, looked a little high, but gets called to strike, so 0-2 now on J.C. Goad. Goad holds off on that one. It's outside. One ball and two strikes now. Stevens on second. Simpkins on first. And Goad waited and waited and waited on that one. Just reached out and punched it foul. It's one ball and two strikes now. <laughs> and takes that ball outside, so count levels at two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs here in the bottom of the second. Boyd County's pushed off, pushed across one run here to cut the lead to three to two. And go to hits that one into left field, right at the left fielder, bobbled it. Stevens is going to come around to score, and Goad's going to get to second. So Stevens So now Henderson with an opportunity with Goad at second base. It's a ball. Uh, Henderson takes it in the dirt. It's now 3-0. and oh. Got to figure Henderson's probably going to be taken here. Runners on second and third, bottom of the second. Boyd County's now tied it up at three. We're down 3-1, entering the bottom of the second here, and have pushed two across. Opportunity to push across a couple more with a base hit. That's going to be strike one, three and one on Henderson. Henderson, the number three hitter. She's 0 for 1 on the night. She struck out in the first. And just gets a clip of that one, I believe, but it's going to be three and two now. Three balls, two strikes, two outs.
And Henderson hits that into right field, and that is caught by Entler, and that will finish the half inning, but not before Boyd County pushes across two runs on three hits, one error, and two left on. At the end of two complete, it is three all here from the Tri-State Showcase Boyd County High School. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Clay with Pollux. Pollux has been in business for 150 years. My grandfather purchased Pollux from his niece in 1955. And 69 years later, my family gets to celebrate 150 years in Ashton, Kentucky. And we want to thank you and your families for your support over 150 years. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines, such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. Insurance with a local agent. It's called service. Call me, Mary Boggs State Farm Agent in Ashland today at 606-744-1208. All right, folks, we're back getting ready to start the top of the third and it looks like we have a new pitcher and that is going to be Elon Simpkins and I think we have I believe a new right fielder so Simpkins will be in the circle Stevens will be at second JC go to short And I believe, yeah, Elise Sparks is in in right field. Now in the circle for the lane line, number one, Elon Simpkins. Leading off for Notre Dame, number seven, Lindsey Shaver. And Simpkins' first pitch to Schaefer is a strike. So for Notre Dame, it'll be Schaefer, Kendall Ford. That's fouled back. Schaefer, Kendall Ford, and Sword. So 0-2 on Schaefer. And a swing and a miss, strikeout. So Simpkins faces her first hitter and gets a strikeout. And that's going to bring up Kendall Ford, who is 0 for 1 on the day. Struck out to end the top of the first. It's going to be inside ball one. And it's going to stay high and away ball. So two and oh. That's hit hard and deep to left field, and that is gone. A home run, a solo shot for Kendall Ford. And that puts Notre Dame back up on top, four to three, after the solo shot there by Kendall Ford. Hit that one a ton in the left field, and that's going to bring up Alayla Sword to be followed by Kate Entler. It's the six and seven hitters still to come here for Notre Dame. There you go, right there. All you gotta do is take that 
That was a close pitch, but it's going to be. So one ball, no strikes. So one and one now. Outside ball two. It's going to stay high. Ball three, three and one now on on uh, sword. Here's the three one from Simpkins. It's fouled off down the right field line. It's going to bring the count full to three and two. Strike three. Second out. That's two strikeouts for Simpkins. She's had a strikeout. Got a home run sandwich by two strikeouts here in the top of the third for Notre Dame. It's going to bring up Kate Entler, who singled and scored a run back in the second inning. And it's going to be fouled off 0 and 1. That's going to be ball one. One and one now. Two outs, bases empty here in the top of the third. Notre Dame with a 4-3 four four lead here on the strength of the Kendall Ford solo home run early in this inning. Two and one now on Entler. And that's going to be another strike, strike two now. Two balls and two strikes, two outs. Gonna be ball three, so now it's full count on Entler. That's hit into right field a ton. Sparks goes over and it gets over her head. She picks it up at the base of the fence and gets it back in and holds Entler to a single. My guess is we'll have a courtesy runner here for Entler. And Ava Rush will step to the plate. And a swing and a miss by Rush on a little bit of a change up there from Elon Simpkins. And Rush hits it to Henderson, takes a bad hop. She's going to scoop it up, and she's unable to do that. Tough play there for Henderson. It's going to put two on now. And it's going to be ball one high.
Two balls and a strike here to Bella Rush. That's strike. Two balls, two strikes. Simpkins gets two balls, two strikes. That's hit in left field. Gilbert going back. It's over her head. It's going to fall in, bounce to the fence. It's going to score two runs. So Entler and Rush are going to come around to score. Or the courtesy runner for Entler and Rush will come around to score. And that is a two RBI double here for Bella Rush. And now Macy Ford will come to the plate. One for two on the night, or excuse me, one for one has a sacrifice and a single on the night. She'll come to the plate with two outs, one on. And it's going to be strike one from Simpkins. And a swing and a miss. Strike two. It's fouled away right side. Fouled off again, 0-2. Count will stay that way, two outs. Runner on second is Bella Rush, who just drove in two with a two-run double. Now stay inside, It'll be ball one. So one ball, two strikes, two outs. And it'll stay two balls, two strikes. So went to 0-2, and, and now the count is even at 2-2, two and two, two outs. That's fouled off again. Simpkins will bring the 2-2 pitch plateward. And that's hit up the middle. Goad makes a good play, cuts across, bounces, and Hamilton digs it out. Nice play there by Hamilton, and that will end the inning, but not before. There's three runs on three hits, one error, one runner left. At the end of two and a half, it is Notre Dame six, Boyd County three. We'll be back right after this. Trust is something earned, not given. Better financials lead to a better life. All with the Better Bank headquartered in Boyd County and serving the Tri-State. KFB, the bank you trust and the community you love.
Right now, one in four Kentucky high school seniors are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in four. It's okay to ask for help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. All right, folks, we are back here, getting ready to move to the bottom of the third with Boyd County trailing Notre Dame six to three. Going to the bottom of the third and for Boyd County in the bottom of the third. It'll be Hamilton Coons and It'll be Elise Sparks who came in for Jacobs when there was a pitching change. Hamilton one for one on the night. <laughs> Hamilton will step back out of the box. Two and oh on Hamilton. It's fouled away. and fouls that one away. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody out here in the bottom of the third. Hamilton fouls that one away. It's going to be high, ball three, so the count is full on Hamilton. Milo Hamilton will be followed by Kylie Coons. Hamilton fouls that one away. Several foul balls on this one, and they get a couple more balls into the field here, and so Ava Rush will tow the Pitching rubber and and Hamilton's that one's going to be out of play, just out of play. So the count will stay full. I believe that's the at least the fourth foul ball that Mila Hamilton. has had in this at bat. And took a change up that looked high, but takes it as a strike and that'll be the first out. And it's the third strikeout for Ava Rush, and now Kylie Coons will step in, and she singled and had an RBI back in the first inning. And Coons singles it up through the right side there between first and second baseman. 
on the first pitch, and now she gets on base, and she'll be on first base for Elise Sparks, who came in for Brooks ja Brooke Jacobs when she was relieved in the pitching circle by Elon Simpkins. Number two, Elise Sparks. Sparks on the season. This is her first appearance in the two games that we broadcast here today, and she's hitting 208 on the year. And Sparks pops that one up, just trying to slap it, and she pops it up to the second baseman. So that'll be the second out of the inning, and that'll bring up Grace Stevens, who singled in the second inning and came around to score. Number three, and it was on an air where J.C. Goat had hit the ball in the left field and the ball misplayed. Couldn't catch it by the left fielder, Sparks. But Stevens will step in one for one on the night with a run scored. And Stevens fouls it off. It's 0-1. Rush comes Platewood and pulls the string on that one a little bit. It's going to be 0 and 2 now on Stevens. Coon still on first with two outs. On deck hitters Gracie Gilbert. High and away, and Coons is going to try to steal, and she's going to be out. And that will end it. So no runs on one hit, no errors, nobody left on at the end of three complete. It is six to three, Notre Dame will be back right after this. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. All right, folks, we are back. Top of the fourth inning, Boyd County trailing Portsmouth Notre Dame 6-3. And for Notre Dame, it'll be the two, three, and four hitters. It'll be Sparks, Maddie Entler, and Schaefer will come to bat. And Sparks will come to the bat. She's two of two on the day with a single and a double and two RBIs. So she's had a good night. The Heritage Freight team, Joe Fleeman on the base and Jill Fleeman, lead singer. So we've got Simpkins will take the circle and Coons is now back from behind the plate. And not sure we have a softball to get started here yet. It'll be important to have a softball to be able to play this top of this inning, I believe. I apologize if I get a little punchy, folks. It's 15 minutes to 11. I'm old, and it's past my bedtime. So, And here's Simpkins. She's going to start her warm-ups here. Uh, 
All right, we're getting ready to start the top of the fourth. And again, as I mentioned, it is Sparks, Maddie Entler, and Schaefer. Two, three, three, two, three, and four hitters. And so here is the first pitch from Simpkins. So we have, and that is hit right to Sparks and was getting ready to announce Sparks was then was playing first base and Maddie Badgett is in right field. So I'm gonna make the assumption that Badgett is gonna take the place of Hamilton in the batting order since Sparks was already in the game. So Maddie Entler will be at the plate. She is 0 for 1, has drawn a base on balls and grounded out. She takes ball 2, 2 and 0 now. It's ball three, three and oh. Trying not to let this hitter get on. Three and oh count. Simpkins has got to come to the plate here. Get a strike. And walks her on four straight pitches. So Maddie Entler will go to first. And that'll bring up Lindsey Schaefer, who is 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a ground out today. And that is five straight out of the strike zone for Simpkins. Schaefer fouls that one at the plate, and so it'll be one ball and one strike on Schaefer. Notre Dame with a 6-3 lead here in the top of the fourth. Final game out here of the Boyd County Showcase. I say the Boyd County Showcase. The Tri-State Showcase. I told you I was. it's getting late. And that is hit down the right field line, and it's curving foul and out of play. It is the Tri-State Showcase here at Boyd County, the final game here at Boyd County tonight. So it was just a long strike, so one ball and two strikes on Schaefer. And Schaefer hits it in the gap between short and third, and Gilbert picks it up, and Entler's going to move to second. And you got a single by Schaefer, and that's going to bring up Kendall Ford, who had a solo home run in the third and struck out in the first inning. And that is hit hard right at Jaden Goad, who makes the catch and tries to get it back in to double it up. Simpkins is backing up second base, and nice job there by Jaden Goad to make the catch, get it back in. Runners will stay at first and second. Alayla Sword will now come to bat. One of two on the day, has a single, scored a run, and then struck out in the third inning. 
And that's going to be fouled away. 0 and 1. There's the pitch, and it is a base hit up the middle. That's going to score run, one run. Coons comes up to cut it off. So an RBI single for a sword. That brought in Maddie Entler. And Lindsey Schaefer was able to move up to second, so Kate Entler will now step in to the batter's box. She's two for two on the day and scored the courtesy runner that's gotten for her has scored two runs. And she takes strike one. It's now seven to three Notre Dame over Boyd County. And it's one ball, one strike. And that is a ground ball to Stevens, and it goes right under her glove into right field, and that's going to score one, and they're going to send the runner, and that's going to score two. So Entler, Kate Entler gets... On by air, but that's going to score two runs. Alayla Sword and Lindsey Schaefer come around to score, and it now makes it 9-3 to three. Notre Dame over Boyd yeah, County, and it'll be Ava Rush, Rush. will come up to bat. Still two outs. Top of the fourth. And that's hit high in the air. Stevens going out into the grass and makes the catch. And that is the end of the inning, but not before Notre Dame pushes across three runs on Looks like uh, two hits, one Boyd County error at the end of the at the end of three and a half. It is Notre Dame nine, Boyd County three. We'll be back right after this. From hand-cut steaks to fall off the bone ribs, Texas Roadhouse has something for everyone. Visit TexasRoadhouse.com or download the Texas Roadhouse mobile app to get on the wait list or place a to-go order online. Fresh baked bread and honey cinnamon butter await at Texas Roadhouse. Order their legendary catering for your next event. Located at 501 Winchester Avenue across from Ashland Town Center Mall, Texas Roadhouse will help you support your local school. It's 5 to 11. All right, folks, we're back here. Ward County High School. Notre Dame has had three runs in each of the second, third, and fourth innings, and they lead Boyd County 9 to 3. And so for Boyd County, it is the 7, 8, and 9 hitters. Stevens, Gilbert, and Jaden Goad will come to the plate. Stevens has single tonight, one for one, scored a run. Swing and a miss for Stevens here in the bottom of the fourth. And in 
is inside and a little up one and one now on Stevens. And Stevens takes ball two, two and one now. <laughs> Stevens fouls that one off. Two balls and two strikes on Stevens. And Stevens hits that one into left field. Coming in to make the catch is Sparks. She was playing in some and had it played very well. So Sparks comes in and makes the catch. And now it's going to be Gracie Gilbert, who struck out in the second inning, will come up to bat. And Gilbert fouls that one away. Here's the old one pitch from Rush. Pulls the string on that one a little bit and gets strike two. Took quite a bit off of that one. And they check with first base, and it said Gracie Gilbert did not go around, so it's now going to be one ball and two strikes. And Gilbert hits a little dribbler there to the pitcher, rush over to Ford and that will be the put out second out of this half now inning and now Jaden Goad will come Goad. up to plate. And a swing and a miss by Goad. And another swing and a miss, 0-2. And another swing and a miss, and that'll be a strikeout. Three up and three down. No runs, no hits, no errors. No one left on at the end of four complete. It's Notre Dame nine, Board County three. We'll be back right after this. I began fostering in 2020. Having a caring adult is important, and I wanted to make sure that I gave that to any child that was in need. I chose to foster with Ramey specifically because Ramey just, they get it. The support that I get with Ramey is excellent. Anytime I need something, 
I know who to call and I can call any of them, any of them. It actually has positively impacted me because it started the Tolbert family. Visit the Ashland Boyd County Health Department to catch up on routine childhood vaccines such as MMR, Tdap, HPV, and hepatitis. Please call 606-324-7181 to schedule an appointment. All right, folks, we are back here getting ready to start the top of the fifth. Even Simpkins will be continue to be on the mound. It'll be Bella Rush who in the third inning had a two RBI double and also reached on an error back in the second inning, came around to score. So she is one for two with two RBIs and scored a run. Squares to bunt. That's hit in the air. JC Go will take a couple of steps back and makes the catch for the first out. And that's going to bring the top of the order back. So Macy Ford will now come to bat. And it's strike one. Forward on the days, one for three. And make that two for four with a base hit right back up the middle. So she'll have a one out base hit and that's gonna bring up Gwen Sparks who's hit the ball hard pretty much all three times she's been at the plate. She's two for three with two RBIs, a single and a double and then hit a shot, a line shot to Lee Sparks at first base that Sparks was able to corral in the last inning, back in the fourth. And it's going to be a ball outside, so 1-0. and oh. And that is hit. That's gone. That is hit hard, and Sparks... It's a two-run homer here in the top of the fifth inning to drive in Macy Ford. Big day for Gwen Sparks. Two-run homer that drives in. Sparks now puts... Notre Dame up 11 to three, and now Maddie Entler will come to the plate. She has walked twice and grounded out to third and scored a run, so she's 0 for one on the day. And it stays ball one high. Boyd County trying to stop the bleeding here in the top of the fifth, down by eight runs. Takes a strike. If they wind up getting down by 10 or more runs, then they'll have to get that run deficit under 10 in the bottom of the fifth, or the game will be over due to run roll. And it's fouled off. One ball and two strikes.
That's going to be ball two. Two balls, two strikes, one out here. Top of the fifth inning. Notre Dame's pushed across two. They might as well score another one so they can be consistent. They've had three runs in the previous three innings and have two here in the top of the fifth. And that's going to be a foul at the plate. It'll stay two and two. Simpkins, Simpkins will come now with the 2-2 pitch, and that is grounded, a slow roller to go, who picks it up, sidearm throw over to Sparks. It gets away from her, but she hangs on to it, so it's going to be an error for Entler to – so now Lindsay Schaefer will come to the plate. She is one for three on the day with a single, score to run, strikeout, and a ground out. Swing and a miss. So 0 and 1 here on Schaefer. That'll stay high. One ball, one strike. It's going to be ball two. Two balls and a strike. It's going to stay inside. Ball three. Three and one. Schaefer's got to be looking for a pitch she can hit here. Take strike two, so now it'll be a full count. Three balls, two strikes, one out, one on. Top of the fifth, Notre Dame leading 11-3 over Boyd County. And a swing and a miss, strikeout for out number two here in this inning, and that's going to bring up Kendall Ford. And Fo Ford. Excuse me. So Candace Uday will now check in for Ford. This will be her first at bat here tonight. Take strike one. Ford was one for three, had a solo shot home run and the third inning, and that is fouled off. So it's now 0-2. It's fouled away. And a swing and a miss and a strikeout, and that'll do it, but not before Notre Dame scores two runs on two hits, one Boyd County air and one runner left on. At the end of four and a half, it is 
Notre Dame 11, Boyd County 3. We'll be back right after this. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. To know that we impacted them it, um, really helps, but I don't know if they really know how much they impacted us. The things these kids go through, we can't imagine. Almost every foster that we've had, we still have contact with. We choose to continue to foster with Remy Eastad because they've become family. I've never felt like they say, here you go, you're on your own. You can call them at any time. If they don't have the answer right at hand, they'll find it and get back with you. Alright folks, we're back here going to the bottom of the fifth inning. Boyd County trailing Portsmouth Notre Dame. 11 to 3. Boyd County will have the top of the lineup here to start the bottom of the fifth. It'll be Simpkins, JC Goad, and Savannah Henderson. Simpkins has a single. Make that two singles now. And she has two RBIs, so she's now two for three. And JC Goad will now step up to the plate. She is 0 for 1. Score to run. Had a big game against Frederick Douglass earlier today with two home runs, five RBIs. And Rush throws that one high and away, ball one. So Boyd County down eight here, really needs some base runners. Needs to get some hitters on base so they can uh, Start having ducks on the pond and try to drive some of them in. And Goad fouls that one off. One and one. It's now two and one on Goad. And Goad hits a shot right to center field, and it's caught by Macy Ford for the first out of the inning. Hit that one hard, but nothing to show for it. So it's going to bring up Savannah Henderson, who's 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a flyout today. And Henderson takes that one high ball, 1-0. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Going to be outside, 2-0. Henderson takes strike one, two balls and a strike. Swing, and that was a little bit of a foul tip, I believe, but still 
Foul ball, so it's going to be two balls, two strikes. One out here in the bottom of the fifth. And that one's fouled back again just off the tip of the bat, so it's going to stay at 2-2. That one stays high, and the count will go full. And Henderson hits that one in the gap. That's going to get down. Simpkins is going to... Round second, she's going to head to third. Ball is into the infield, and so Savannah Henderson gets a double, which will move Simpkins around to third. She'll go to second. So now you have Myla Hamilton, or excuse me, uh, Maddie Badgett, who came in for Hamilton. She'll step in to bat for the first time today. Maddie Badgett. She's batting 300 on the year. She's appeared in 12 games. This is her 13th game, 9 of 30. Ball gets away, but not enough for the runners to move up. So Simpkins on third, Henderson on second, and Badgett with a 1-0 count at the plate. Badgett takes ball two. Opportunity here to, to count in your favor to find a pitch that you can drive somewhere or have a good eye. Maybe you can work the count to 3-0 and and force Rush to pitch strikes. And that's going to be ball three, and that's where we're at. Feel confident Badgett's probably taken here with a 3-0 count. Badgett, that fourth pitch looked a lot like the third pitch. It's three and one. So still counting the favor of the batter, Maddie Badgett. And she swings and misses and runs the count full. Full count. Two runners on, one out here in the bottom of the fifth. And Badgett draws a walk, and that will load the bases. So now Kylie Coons will step in, who is has a single and an RBI. Actually has two singles and an RBI, so she's two for two on the night. We got time out here by Notre Dame. I don't know if they're going to have a pitching change or what's going to happen. But Boyd County will have the bases loaded in the bottom of the fifth. And I believe we're going to have a pitching change. So Ava Rush will come out. And let's see what happens here. Or, yep, Ava Rush is going to come out. And number 27, Gwen Sparks. Looks like she's going to take the hill. So... She was in left field earlier. I'm not sure. Sure, there's been a change there 
that I didn't catch. So we've got a pitching change. Gwen Sparks will come on with one out here in the bottom of the fifth. Bases are full of Lady Lions and Kylie Coons will come to the plate. Two for two on the day for Coons. Two singles and also has an RBI. And so Boyd County with a big opportunity here. They're down by eight runs, 11 to three. And we'll see what Kylie Coons can do for the Lady Lions. A base hit would more than likely score at least two. If you can put one into the gap or down the line, you might be able to score three. So Badgett on first. And Coons hits it right back up the middle. The shortstop bobbles it, and everybody is going to be safe. And two runs are going to come around to score. Simpkins is going to score. And Henderson is going to come around to score. Badgett will move up to second. And Coons will go to first. Now batting the first baseman, number two, Elise Sparks. And so Elise Sparks will now step in. And that's in the dirt, and the runners are going to move up. And so Badgett will move up to third, Coons to second. So Boyd County's pushed two runs across here in the bottom of the fifth and looking for more with Elise Sparks at the plate. And Sparks takes ball two. Sparks trying to slap at that one and get out of the box quickly. Misses the pitch and it's now two and one. And that is strike two. Two balls, two strikes on Sparks. Runners on second and third. Base hit will cut this lead from six to four. And Sparks is going to strike out. Now back to second baseman, number three, Grace Stevens. So Stevens will now step in. Stevens one of two on the night, scored a run. Boyd County could use a base hit here. Base hit here would score two and get Boyd County within 11 to 11 to seven. Right now it's 11-5, two runners on, 0-1 on Stevens. One ball, one strike. And Stevens hits that one down the first baseline foul. So it's going to be one and two now on Stevens. And Stevens knocks off the first baseman's glove. She's hustling down and she. Oh, I thought she beat that one out. But they're going to call her out, and that will end the inning. But Boyd County pushes two runs across on a couple of hits. Uh, one runner, excuse me, two runners left at the end and no errors. At the end of five complete, it's Notre Dame 11, Boyd County 5. We'll be back right after this.
Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. All right, folks, we are back. Looks like we've got yet another pitcher for Boyd County. Third one they've used, uh, Lason Black, who pitched in the game against Frederick Douglass, is in. And uh, waiting on Kylie Coons to come out. Not sure if we've got any changes because Simpkins was in the game as pitching. And we'll see. Looks like we still have Sparks and Henderson, Goad and Stevens on the infield, and looks like we have Jaden Goad. And I'm gonna make the assumption it's still Gilbert and Badgett, so Black may have entered for Simpkins. But we're going to the top of the sixth, and Lason Black is gonna take the circle, trailing 11 to five. And for Notre Dame, it's going to be in the sixth inning, it's going to be Sword, Kate Entler, and Ava Rush, unless we have some substitutes here. Or if there were substitutes I didn't catch earlier. But Black is finishing up her, her warm up pitches. And as soon as she gets done with those, we'll be ready to start here at the top of the six. We appreciate you. We know it's a late game. We appreciate you tuning in with us all the way as far as we are now at 1130. Uh, so far, we've still got about an hour and a half to, to beat uh, last night. At least I was told it was after 1 o'clock before folks got out of here. And I don't want to set a record. So... Uh, Hopefully we can get this one in before the next hour and a half comes around. And so we've got Leah Sword is going to step in the shortstop for the Titans. And here comes the first pitch from Lason Black. And it's going to be inside ball one. And here comes the 1 0 from Lace and Black. Strike one. One ball, one strike. And a swing and a miss. Strike two. One ball and two strikes on. Aaliyah Sword. Sword hits it right back to Lace and Black, who makes a good play and gets the put out over to first base for the first out of the inning. It's now Katie Entler, the catcher for Notre Dame, who has had a nice night is uh, two for three, reached on an air and has two singles and come around to score two runs. Or the courtesy runner for her has scored two runs. And slow roller to Henderson who scoops it up and gets it over to Sparks for the second out. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Ava Rush. Pitcher, 
And Rush swings and misses on the first pitch. And takes the second pitch high, so one ball and one strike. And that's fouled off down the third baseline. One ball, two strikes now. And it's back up the middle. Goad scoops it up at second base. Bobbles gets it over to first, and they're going to call her safe. So Bella Rush will now come to the plate after Ava Rush is able to beat out the ground ball that was bobbled a little bit there by J.C. Goad. And Bella Rush hits that into left field. Gilbert's going to get underneath it and isn't able to make the play. At least I think that's Gracie Gilbert, but that's going to allow that error is going to allow a second runner in a row, second hitter in a row to get on, and that's going to bring up the top of the order in Macy Ford, who is two for four on the day and has scored a run. And she takes ball one. Takes ball two high. Runners move up to second and to third. So two runners in scoring position with two outs, 2-0 two and oh on Macy Ford. Opportunity to add to this six-run lead here. And Ford takes strike one. Ford hits that one down the right field line, and it's curving. It's going to get down. Badgett scoops it up, gets it into the second base, but it's going to score two. So a two-RBI single for Macy Ford. So a two-out, two-RBI base hit there, and Gwen Sparks, who – Hit a two-run homer the last time she was at the plate. She is three for four on the day with four RBIs, a home run, a single, and a double. Just needs a triple to hit for the cycle. Takes strike one. She has been a nemesis for Boyd County tonight. Has been very effective at the plate, but is now down quickly 0-2. And Sparks hits that one a ton into right center. Badgett and Goad, and he gets over Badgett's head to the fence. And we've got a play at the plate. I thought we were going to have, but Macy Ford's going to come all the way around to score. So Maddie Entler will now step in to the plate. And she's 0 for 2, has drawn two walks and scored a run. 
and takes a ball. I'm sure uh, Notre Dame would love to get Sparks in from second to get that 10-run lead going to the bottom of the sixth. And that is grounded to Sparks, who scoops it up and steps on the bag, and that will do it. But it looks like one, two, three runs here for Notre Dame. One runner left on two Boyd County airs, and uh, that was on looks like only as two hits. So at the end of five and a half, it is Notre Dame 14, Boyd County 5. We'll be back right after this. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Right now, one in four Kentucky high school seniors are dealing with anxiety and depression. That's one in four. It's okay to ask for help, and Pathways is listening. Learn more or connect with help today at pathways-ky.org. At Buffalo Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Bottom of the sixth inning coming up here from Boyd County High School, and we have Gracie Gilbert set. Well, I believe it was, but it looks like it's a different number there, so let me try to get that. Taylor Culp is at the plate. It's going to be one ball and one strike on Culp. And Taylor Culp on the year's batting 333. She's only this is only her fourth appearance as a hitter. She's two of six. One ball and two strikes on Culp. Two and two now on Colt. Sparks comes with the 2-2 pitch, and that's going to stay high to go to a full count. After Colt, you have Jaden Goad, and then it'll be Elon Sip. Well, it probably won't be Simpkins. I think it was Lace and Black. It depends on how the substitutions work here. And Colt swings and misses and strikes out to start the bottom of the sixth, and it will be... It will be Layson Black who is on deck. Jaden Goad will come to the plate, and she is 0 for 2 with two strikeouts tonight. Both those strikeouts came against the starting pitcher, Ava Rush. Swing and a miss by Stevens, 0 and 1. And Goad swings and misses again, trying to slap it just a little bit. And she's uh, in a hole 0 oh and 2 now. And a swing and a miss and a strikeout. So two up, two down, two strikeouts for Gwen Sparks. And we'll go back to the top of the order. And Lace and Black. And Black swings and misses. Strike one. It's 
Another swing and a miss, strike two. One strike away from striking out the side here for Sparks. And Black hits a slow roller to short, scooped up there by Sword over to first for the out. No runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on at the end of six complete. It's Notre Dame 14, Boyd County 5. Primary Plus is celebrating over 40 years of its mission of quality, advanced, affordable health care. With more than 11 primary care locations throughout the region, Primary Plus believes in our communities and their patients. Primary Plus, always welcoming new patients. Visit online at primaryplus.net. To know that we impacted them it, um, really helps, but I don't know if they really know how much they impacted us. The things these kids go through, we can't imagine. Almost every foster that we've had, we still have contact with. We choose to continue to foster with Remy Eastad because they've become family. I've never felt like they say, here you go, you're on your own. You can call them at any time. If they don't have the answer right at hand, they'll find it and get back with you. All right, folks, we are back here trying to finish out the final 16 minutes of Saturday, April the 13th, and we'll be moving into Sunday if we've got another 14 minutes here, or another, uh, excuse me, 17 minutes, we'll be getting into that, and it's going to be Lindsey Schaefer, then... Candace Uday followed by Sword. And we have Owen 1 on. And that's going to be hit up the middle, and Goad can't get to it. So it's going to be a base hit for Schaefer to lead off the top of the seventh. Don't have numbers here. I'm assuming this is Candace Uday who came in earlier in the game and takes ball one. And that's hit slow to the second baseman, Stevens, who picks it up and gets it to Sparks, who drops it but then picks it up again and gets the out. Schaefer will move up to second. And so Sword will now step in. And she has had a good night. She's two for three in RBI and scored two runs. And the ball gets away. And now Schaefer is going to move up to third. And Schaefer hits that one in the air, and Henderson camps underneath it and makes the catch for the second out. So I'll bring up Kate Entler, who's had a nice night, two for four on the night with two singles and scored two runs. Action. Addison Arnold. So we had a substitute, Addison Arnold. We'll bat for Entler. And that is ball one high and away. Two outs here in the top of the seventh. Notre Dame leading 14 to five over Boyd County. And that catches the outside corner strike one. So one ball and one strike now.
Swing and a miss, strike two. One ball, two strikes. It's going to be low and inside. Ball two, two balls, two strikes. Two outs. Top of the seventh. 14 to 5, Notre Dame. That ball gets in the dirt. Full count now. And that is strike three, and that will end the inning. One runner left on. One hit, no runs, no Boyd County errors at the end of six and a half. It's 14 to five Notre Dame. Boyd County coming up in the top of the seventh. We'll be back right after this. Whether it's ice and cold drinks, chips and dips, or homemade sandwiches, and crispy, crunchy chicken for everybody, Clark's has you covered. And you don't even have to leave your car thanks to our convenient drive through Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. All right, folks, we're back here. Bottom of the seventh inning. Boy County trailing 14 to 5. They want to keep this game going. They're going to have to get at least nine runs here in the bottom of the seventh inning. And leading off for Boy County will be J.C. Goad, followed by Savannah Henderson, followed by Madison Badgett. Goad on the day is 0 for 2. Also drawn a base on balls. And scored a run, and she takes ball one. And Goad hits a slow roller to short, soared up and over, and gets the put out six to three. And that is the first out here of the bottom of the seventh. Now that so it was soared over to Uday. So Savannah Henderson has a double, an RBI, and a strikeout and a flyout. So she's one for three in an RBI and scored a run on the day. And she takes strike one. And that is a grounder up to Sword, who hits it off the back, back of her glove, the heel of her glove, and Henderson's able to get safely. Now batting the right fielder, number 21, Maddie Badgett. So Maddie Badgett will now step to the plate. And take strike one. Kylie Coons is in the on deck circle, and Badgett fouls that one off, and it'll go to 0 and 2.
Here's the 0-2 pitch from Sparks, and Badgett swings and misses and strikes out, and Boyd County now down to their final out with Kylie Coons stepping to the plate, and we still have Savannah Henderson on first base. Henderson way off the bag, takes the throw from the catcher, but gets back in time, and it's 1-0 on Coons. Swing and a miss, strike one. So one ball, one strike, two outs here in the bottom of the seventh. Boyd County down to their final two strikes here. And that is fouled off. It's now one ball and two strikes on Coons. Henderson still on first, two outs here in the bottom of the seventh. Notre Dame with a 14 to five lead. Coons fouls that one off. Henderson was taken off there as soon as the pitch got to the home plate, but we bring it back and do it all over again after the foul ball. And it's going to be ball high. Two balls, two strikes. Lots of twos. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bottom of seven. One runner on first. Coons is set for the 2-2 pitch. Stays high. Count will go full. If Coons is hap happens to get on safely, it'll bring up Elise Sparks, who is in the on-deck circle. And Coons fouls that one off. Coons fouls that one off again. Coons hanging tough here. And Coon swings and misses, and that is the final out, and that will do it. Boyd County drops the final nightcap here, 14 to 5. We're going to take a break. We'll come back, wrap this one up, talk about what we have going on next week. And we appreciate you joining us here for the Tri-State Showcase here from Boyd County High School here on My Town TV. We'll take a break, come back, wrap this one up right after this. Whether it's a breakfast sandwich or pizza on the way to the track, picking up drinks and crispy crunchy chicken on the way to the game, or a late night snack on the way home, no one has you covered like Clark's Pump and Shop. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Kentucky. Buckle up and put the phone down. At Buffalo Wild.
Wild Wings, the deals don't stop. Buy one, get one half off Wing Tuesdays. Buy one, get one free boneless Thursdays. And three to six dollar happy hour deals from three to six p.m. every weekday. Only at Buffalo Wild Wings. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here at Boyd County High School where Boyd County loses the nightcap 14-5 to the Titans of Portsmouth Notre Dame. 14-5, uh, to five, Portsmouth Notre Dame, three in the second, three in the third, three in the fourth, two in the fifth, three in the sixth, and Boyd County, one in the first, two in the second, and two in the fifth, 14-5. Boyd County falls to 10-8 and eight on the year. Just a couple of uh, little quick things for my town next week. Big games next week. Lots of my town matchups. Monday night baseball. Green up at Russell. Tuesday night, four games on the my town TV sports network. Green up at Russell softball. Boyd County at Ashland. These Boyd County Lady Lions will go to Ashland in softball. Uh, the Tomcats will come out here to uh, Cannonsburg to take on the boys in baseball action. And Russell makes the return trip to Greenup for baseball on Tuesday. On Thursday, it's Boyd County at Greenup County in softball. Russell at Ashland in baseball. And Boyd in Greenup County in baseball. On Saturday, uh, Cabell Midland will be at Boyd County in baseball. So a big lineup for us next week. We appreciate you tuning in. Appreciate uh, you sticking with us till midnight here tonight. And uh, we appreciate you tuning in. We want to thank all of our sponsors, and we appreciate the hospitality we always receive out here at Boyd County for Josh and Andy on production and camera. I'm Mike Miller. I'll see you next week here on the My Town TV Sports Network. Ashland Credit Union is pleased to announce the opening of two new locations. The ACU Cannonsburg Branch is located across from Camp Landing on US 60. The Russell Branch of ACU is located at 1200 Dietrich Boulevard. Visit Ashland Credit Union today to learn how you can achieve more in 2024. Whether it happens with